Gassed up. I'm gonna run this video real time. It's uh, I run these videos to show what it's really like. It's four minutes to six. What a real time video is for me is I show the amount of real time it takes to do what I do. I know some people uh, don't like the word real time. I, on YouTube, technically I think they call it real time situation live streaming. Farkle. Yahtzee. I had a request for a Yahtzee. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's get to it. From time to time, you will see an edit where I edit the video. I will need to adjust the camera to make sure it hasn't shifted on my head. If I don't do that, I could ruin the whole video. So I have about an hour of good light left. Uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. little motor in there. I wanted to take the time to do that. Box down there says mongoose on it. That's a bicycle box. The furniture in there. It's damaged. You can see. I can see a lot of things GoPro can't pick up. Sunday so Sundays are good for a number of reasons
all these dumpsters real well. If you wonder why, it looks like I'm skipping stuff. A dollar tree back there. They never throw anything away. I'll also turn the camera off from time to time. You'll notice some quick edits, most likely. It's easier for me to edit and upload. It takes a lot less time if I upload many little clips as opposed to one long one. Be careful. There's little kids around here. There's a place coming up here I'll show it to you. Little kid on a bicycle T-boned me one day back when I used to drive a motorcycle.
had a mouse. I was gonna take my sunglasses off here. I think I accidentally got a great shot of that right when I first went like this. I was gonna take my sunglasses off. I seen that hawk sitting there with a mouse in his in his talon. So I'm going through a little section of apartments right now, obviously. I will eventually get into like an industrial park, a little business strip. Been doing some rain in here. about using a bicycle in my last video bicycle is actually the most efficient quickest way you could possibly do what I'm doing until it comes to when you have to cover or when you have to go from one area to the next like you can do all this area this is where the kid t-boned me there was a truck here car here and I think he was seeing how far he could jump off this curb and I was coming like this on my motorcycle a couple years a few years ago now and i saw him out of my peripheral vision and there was nothing i could do i couldn't speed up or, or anything i just it was just destiny <laughs> and he hit me right here he was pedaling as hard as he could down the sidewalk and he just came flying between these two cars t-bone me here hit me so hard he knocked me off my bike and at that time my kickstand was broke on my motorcycle and i had some sharp jagged metal right here where the kickstand was broke it caught me right on the back of my Achilles tendon. Just, if it would have been a little worse, it would have been real bad. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> point I was getting to is using a bicycle, I could just cut through the sidewalk, and then just, I'm going down there now, I could just cut right through there. So, bicycle is actually the absolute fastest way until it comes to I have to go two miles to drop off something at my storage center, you know, or, or uh, a mile and a half to to go to the next section of town where there's a big group like right now i'm in a dense dense area of dumpsters so when it comes to the mild mile jog down the road to the next dense group of dumpsters that's when a bicycle <laughs> hits its drawback i see some comments talking about people doing this on bicycle in my last video
So if I was on a bicycle, I already checked this dump start. I already been back down there around the corner by now. But uh, there's that treadmill still out here. Look at that. That stove's still there too. This is uh, what's the name of this place? Starfire. I think's the name of this place. If anyone around here wants to come get this. There's a coffee maker in there, but I'm messing around with it. So if I were on my bicycle, I could cut right through this field because I'm going right over there right now. Sidewalks that meander over there. Someone got a new Atari Flashback 8. How the good old days. Pitfall, Missile Command, River Raid. Smell someone cooking on a grill around here somewhere. They're using barbecue sauce. On a bicycle or even a alternate you know a legitimate dirt bike motorcycle There's lots of little shortcuts you can take Although today would be a day where I wouldn't want to cut through some grass. My rig isn't heavy enough to damage to damage turf and grass. Except for, except for today's like today where it's been raining super hard and it's real soggy. I know sometimes people see me cut through some grass. 
It's not really disrespectful. I know it's not gonna damage it. Daddy, we think about that. You were probably getting bored watching the video. It's a good thing you kept watching. Now we want to take the undergarments. Get rid of that stuff. Nice shoes in there. Nice pair of Nikes. These are all from the same lady, so they are going to be the same size. That's always a bonus if you go to try to sell something on eBay. Like this pair of shoes by itself, you wouldn't really sell on eBay. But then you can just grab all three pairs that are all sellable. One pair together is not worth anything. I mean, that's just an example. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but the point I'm trying to get to is when you find something that all comes from the same person, it becomes a lot more valuable at that time. You know what I mean? Those look like they're brand new. Those are brand new underwears. <laughs> Do dirty socks, bras. Okay, it's a nice little suitcase too. I'll throw that in the Freetail store. These suitcases get snatched up quick. Of course, I only put nice stuff in the Freetail store. You know, nice clean stuff like this. It's good. Ready-made treasure chest. What do you think about that? just dirt <laughs> I know I know I just gave my don't go through the wet grass speech but this is just dirt it might look disrespectful I suppose but I wouldn't do it if it wasn't if it was actually doing damage I would I wouldn't do it so it might look bad particularly on YouTube videos Garbage man doesn't like stuff laying against the dumpster. He has to get out, waste his time moving stuff around so he can get his forks in there so he doesn't set it back down on top of stuff. When people lean stuff against the dumpsters, if the garbage man comes and picks the dumpster up, the stuff will fall underneath of it. Lots of times they'll just, they won't get out of their truck, they'll just set the dumpster down <laughs> right on top of the furniture. Well, not really furniture, but like, the stuff that was there he would just squish it mattresses and small stuff i guess he wouldn't really set it on a couch i guess is what i'm trying to say So 
this would be the drawback section if you're using a bicycle. I'm sure that shot was nothing but net, what do you think? <laughs> so, with that suitcase, what I'll probably do, I just put it in a free tail store. Not the suitcase, but the contents of the suitcase and the suitcase. Take these light bulbs. That one's good. For my turtle. I actually have one like this in my turtle tank right now. He loves it. He, he actually likes these more than more than the more than the, the uh, turtle basking lights I buy at the pet store. It seems like he digs them. The rest of this is just a ceramic, so I'm not going to really mess around waste my time unless it comes out of there real fast, which I think it's going to. This is 10. That's basically a waste of time. <laughs> that little piece of metal is worth about a half penny today. I'm going a little faster than I normally would because I'm making a video. show you as much as I can.
technically you're not supposed to go into someone's gate like that that would be trespassing It is an open gate, I suppose, but just so you know. advantages of doing this on Sunday when you come to industrial parks and business parks and stuff you can move around a lot faster than you normally would because there's no one there of course I think part of the reason a lot of these places don't have any cars at them is because of the cocoa papyrus I can't say the real word or uh, the YouTube algorithm will demonetize my videos So hopefully, the YouTube AI doesn't know what I mean by cocoa papyrus. And right, they're doing that for a good reason, you know. I know there was a lot of misinformation, speculation, bad information, in the weeks leading up to this deal. So. fish store here look it's the Mona Lisa that's worth like 50 million dollars <laughs> hey that's old it's got the artist name on it <laughs> I've never had a Mona Lisa before I'm just gonna have to keep that just for giggles got myself my own Mona Lisa you think about that <laughs> they don't throw well they do throw stuff away but they used to have an employee I don't know if he's still here or not but uh, he'll take the real good stuff out of here what's that artwork back there ah it's like hotel art what is it now I'm curious. Oy. Yeah, hotel art. Oh, what's the other one? What's this? Oh. <laughs> I have a plant like that in my bedroom window. What is that? Is that a, if that's an original, I think that might be a photograph. Let's see. Twenty twenty. It's brand new. Whoa! Scared to death out of me. How you doing? What's going on? 
You doing some diving? That's an odd sight. This is a sight I don't see very often where I live. I think they get to do this three times a year maybe at random. I, I'm not sure what the rules are here. I know in the neighboring town they get to do it three times a year. Each, each house, but it's not any set time of year. It's just whenever they want. Oh, look at it. Oh, there's a gift cards and stuff in there. What do you think about that? Oh, not that one. But I'm just gonna take these home and check them out. I throw away the rest of the stuff. I don't want that. <laughs> if there's any good gift cards in there, I'll sell them to you. Otherwise, it's just garbage. So anyone's personal information flipping through them, so. That's a little path through here. You really can't tell this time of year, but... That's a well-worn trail. I know. <laughs> I know I just gave my wet grass speech.
this is that dumpster for those of you that watched the video where I found all those softball bats and, and or all the uh, little kid sized hunting bows and all that type of stuff that one day Pretty sure those will all be empty, but never do know. Goodwill. That was the site of many, many, many videos. Well, I meant to go to that dumpster. <laughs> oh well. Now I'm going the wrong way. They're closed though. A lot of these businesses are closed that normally would be open. Walgreens is closed. No, it's not. Never mind. Entering the industrial park zone. You unlock this door with a key of imagination. Beyond it is another universe. A universe of sound. A universe of sight. A universe of mind. You're moving into a universe of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Cryptoverse. Night little Thinsulate camo. Shoot. Another one piece is just a piece of junk. There's something else hiding down there. What is this? <laughs> I was 
tore up. That would have been kind of nice. One of these. That's it. That's that thing. What are you? Ah, that is a life preserver, folks. That's kind of cool. I am going to take this reversible too. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Uh, what is this? Life preserver? I think I was right. Oh, yeah. That's the keeper. Keeper, keeper, keeper. I've been thinking about going for a float with my pooch. There's some good floating rivers. One battery down, one to go. I don't know. Sometimes it'll stop recording before the battery goes out. Anyways, that's a life preserver. And I've been thinking about going for a float with my pooch. Down uh, some of the floating rivers I got around here. It'd be a pretty cool video. That stuff is going to save me from spending 50 bucks. Those dumpsters are dead over there. Automotive place takes care of those. neighbor across the way from me in my apartment complex works at this place La Jaredura Corn Tatilas big metal dumpster those of you that don't know Never mess with someone's metal dumpster. Uh-oh. These people are already are still here. Look at it. to the grass to catch it <laughs> there's just some things the GoPro doesn't describe as well as a human eye well I guess that's not a good way to put it I just have experience with this whole area I know where it's safe to do that not The proof in the pudding is that I probably went through that little piece right there about 2,000 times. <laughs> so, I guess that's one good way to say what I need to say about that.
suitcases, backpacks, totes. Of course, you never know what could get tossed in here. It's got stuff in it too. Soaking wet with funk, so careful what I'm doing here. Look at that, a bunch of those little paper clipper deals. one of the dumpsters right in make sure I close the lid oh dog kennel a crate two of them those are actually worth some decent money that one doesn't have what well, no that's actually both the doors for them right there they're kind of dirty. Looks like they came from a farm. But, uh, you could take those to a car wash. Those would clean up real nice. Those are big ones. They're, what, are you, what, are you, what are those for? It's a pet store. 60, 70 bucks or so. If I was on my bicycle or my old dirt bike, I would just go right down through here. That's where I'm heading to next. I could cut through there if I really wanted to. Never done that before. No bungee cord. It's just a little one. But you never know. Nice and clean was the part I like. restaurant garbage looks like brace yourself for the funk but well, they might not be open actually never do mind I got some new TVs I wasn't paying attention was that parking lot empty I think it must have been that dumpster's always filled with disgusting piles of old food the plate scraps and stuff. Oh, I thought that was a dude standing there. <laughs> wow, this place like a ghost town. It's already a ghost town on Sundays, but it's like a century old ghost town today. Oh no, I'm ruining my Mona. Shoot. That's not good. Oi. <sighs> I'm 
I'm gonna come back and get that wire. There's some real nice number one insulated copper wire and all that steel conduit. It's gonna take some time to get it, but it's worth it. But I wanna show you some good stuff. This guy's just causing too much trouble. I like that picture though. I'm still not sure if it's a photograph or what it is for sure. There we go. Whole frame's coming apart. I want to show you more than wire. It's going to take 15, 20 minutes to get that out of there. So. Essentially, it would be the end of the video. And I want to give you your popcorn money. That's a nice one. That's one you could take apart and sell for parts on eBay. That's something I'm not into. But I know there's channels like Uberism81. I'll link up in the description for you. And uh, I think Shane Man TV. I don't know if he's still doing that or not. Those two guys will take stuff like this apart and sell the parts on eBay. And you can sell. You can sell like this and the hose and all the little parts that go into that dude. Some vacuums are worth money. Most of the vacuums I find are just, you know, Walmart special jobbies. But that one there, the Bissell, that's got some, it's got some oomph to it. Built-in heater. Heater, why would you need a built-in heater? Uh, killing killing bacteria stuff, maybe. This little handful of wire. Okay, let's get down the road. Board only dumpsters. A lot of cans, if you want the cans. <laughs> Look at that, my magnet caught my snips. Did I get my camera wet? Sheesh. bubble wrap in there Lottie do daddy let me think about that. Nice little motor. Baths. I think that's a a pump. 
silver. That might be a pump out of a, a hot tub, jacuzzi deal. I'm just guessing. It's not very powerful. This doesn't have a lot of weight to it, so. a yard full of hunting pooches over here. Huh? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Huh? You a rabbit dog? Yeah. They're all like this. What do you think about that? Oh, except for I didn't go far enough. Now what do you think about that? Stainless steel hose over there. Little tiny one. An overhead door. Might just want to skip skip it when I got the doors open. That's the good thing about driving this vehicle is people don't even people don't even know you're there until you're gone. Even if they did see you. As opposed to doing it in a car or bigger vehicle. You know what I mean? You don't really want to attract attention to yourself. That's the point I'm getting to, I guess. Everyone's happier. If you just go in and out. A newer one. Oh, the dumpster's not new, but the location is newer. That's what I look like going down the road. <laughs> that guy's got the Mona Lisa. See how I'm going up these curves sideways? If I hit stuff like that at a direct angle, all this stuff will go flying out of my bucket.
couch in there. I think this is a dumpster where they pay about a pound. So those couches in there are heavy. But <laughs> we've had like three or four inches of rain in the last 48, 72 hours. So they're waterlogged. They're incredibly heavy right now. Hopefully the sun bakes on them before they pay. I know some of them dumpsters like that people pay by the pound. Some of them get filled up with, with rainwater. I'm not sure how they work that out. I don't know if those companies will, you know, have a way of taking that weight off when they're at the yard or whatever, but if they just charge them for it. There's 500 gallons of water in this times eight pounds a gallon. A ton, 2,000 pounds of water. Anyone out there that has that experience, inside knowledge, let us know in the comments. That's something I'm interested in. Some nice looking dogs. What is it? It's <laughs> a nice piece of aluminum. I'll come back on the way back through after the video's over. I have that. It's a nice piece of aluminum. Actually, I'll take it now. Never mind. Anybody want some bread? Nothing wrong with that, I'm sure. Nothing like some axe body spray. That's pretty good, really. That suitcase is causing me problems. The days, the days before the retail store, I would, wouldn't have taken that suitcase. <clears throat> are definitely close. That's, that's the city's roller rank to my left there.
There's a little something something. I'd like to find the copper pipes that were used to be attached to that. Someone snatched up the copper. There it is. I was hoping there'd be one of these or two of these in here. There usually is. It's a big one today. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's bigger than I thought too. I can't get it out. It's tied. I spooked on something. There we go. That's a good one. Oh. Think about that. That's nice. Nice little nugget. This place used to have a guy that would come get those. They would save them for him. I don't think he does it anymore. They would save them. They would pile them up inside that door there. Nice chunk, Ola. Oh boy. That's a good one. Wish they were all like that, we think. Anybody know what that's out of? It's a big one. Condenser fan motor. Condenser fan motor. What's that, like a industrial size refrigeration? Cooler, maybe. Uh, let us know in the comments. I'm gonna try to get through here before the battery runs out. This usually doesn't have much in it. It's, for some reason, this place. Well, I was gonna say they only deal with plastic windows, but they might keep their aluminum. There's actually some aluminum ones in there. It's nice, nice chunk of aluminum. It's good stuff. Those window screens there aren't bad. I normally would take those, but let's get down the road. That's a nice chunk there, though. Can't pass that up. Hey. <laughs> Losing my axe bottle. I put that in a bad spot, didn't I? You go here. You go there. Need my three cents of aluminum for sure. You go there now. How about that? I used to cut through to that car wash. That's off limits now. Some car washes will have employees that'll take care of all the stuff people throw away there. And those employees are liable to freak out on you. Most car washes could care less. Think about that phrase that we use. I could care less. <laughs> think about what you're really saying. Technically, it would be I couldn't care less. I never really thought about that until I saw it in a movie a while back. <laughs> Ever since then, I keep saying it. There's an old monitor. So that's not a double negative, that's a, I could care less, that'd be a zero negative. The zero negative grammar mistake.
goes. Trying to go too fast because I know I'm running out of battery. I got a hunch it's gonna run out <clears throat> right at the end of this place at that granite shop where Lake Granite's at. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to show you Lake Granite. It was already at peak levels before it rained three or four inches in the last few days. Let's see where I'm going here. since I'm having an accident just because I'm trying to go fast for a video. I should have just done this to begin with. Okay. Alright, Mona. Eat it. I'll open that up. Some nice chicken. Chicken sliced chicken in there. I'll leave this door open. for well, that door's already open. That's going to be a kitty cat buffet about three or four hours here's Lake Granite oh look how low it is it's actually gone down that's strange their pump might have kicked in for a while or something After I get over there to Lake Granite, I'm going to turn the camera off and save what battery I have left. I'm going to hit a big apartment complex here and down there. video a while back where I dropped that cast iron sink you can see it down there now you can see where the water level was that's two feet lower almost two feet lower than it used to be I don't know why uh, there's their pump that blue that blue hose is going to their sump pump so it must have engaged or they turned it on they might have been here yesterday working or something. I don't know. But that water should almost be up there level with the parking lot. 
after the recent rains we got because it used to be up there by that slab laying against the wall okay i'm gonna turn it back i turn the camera off now and uh, just show you if i score stuff piece of pyrex here there's a microwave down there if i really wanted to smack that out let's take 10 minutes to get it off the bottom of the dumpster <laughs> uh, so i guess i turn the I guess i turn the camera off for a piece of pyrex pyrex is good though i think that might be an older piece kitchen dump here <laughs> decent plates pyrex it is don't tell taco sticks i got some pyrex <clears throat> i don't want to pop my be careful of jamming it jagged metal into my life preserver there's not enough light for the camera so I don't want to make a junky video I'll show you this here in a little bit battery just died 754 on a dot uh, what's that two hours exactly i guess my battery couldn't hold out another 45 seconds or so two nice sets of monster cables um I don't, well, those might not be monsters but they're nice i think that's a gold plate it's kind of hard to tell sometimes for brass and gold plate but i do believe that's gold plated stuff a little football was in there Nice little Wilson. Lots of times they're just thrown out because the air has seeped out of them over years of sitting in storage. And instead of just getting the needle and squirting some air in it, a lot of times they get thrown out. So that's, that's a nice little ball. And then this is a little workout bag. It's kind of windy out here. Hope that's not affecting the camera. Let's see. Let's try to do this up in the hallway. Little uh, workout bag. Uh, karate bag, it says. But, uh, that's pretty nice. Anyway, I sure hope you enjoyed this session. And as always, thanks for watching. Trying to get my kitty cat channel going here. Made some investments. I'm going to build a kitty cat castle.